Hi friends, welcome to class remotely and this is Mehjubin. In this channel, I upload handy information on subjects like history and English. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. Today we are going to look into the dual system of government in Bengal. So let's get started. A dual system of government existed in Bengal from the year 1765 to 1772. This method of administration existed because Bengal was now governed by two rulers. One was the Nawab of Bengal and the other was the English East India Company. This was an arrangement which was made by Robert Clive who was the British governor of Bengal. The British wanted this system because it had a lot of benefits for the English East India Company. The company now had all the power that comes with the task of ruling a province but without any responsibility. The company had the control over the army, they also had authority over the finances of Bengal, they also governed the province but not directly. Instead, Bengal was directly governed by the Nawab of Bengal and his officials. Sadly enough, although the Nawab had the direct responsibility of administration, he had no financial power or resources to do so. The English East India Company was the main political authority of Bengal. The Nawab had to depend on the company for his internal and external security. It must be noted here that Nazamuddin Ali Khan, who happened to be the second son of Mirzafar, was the Nawab of Bengal, Bihar and Orissa when the dual system of government was first introduced in Bengal. Nazamuddin Ali Khan became the Nawab after the death of his father, Mir Jafar. At that time, he was only 15 years old. Nazamuddin Ali Khan, however, did not live for long. He died in 1766 and after him, his younger brother, Nazabad Ali Khan, became the next Nawab of Bengal. During the dual system of government in Bengal, the English East India Company had the Diwani of Bengal. In other words, the company had the right to collect its revenue directly from the people. The British also appointed a deputy Nawab in Bengal. That way, the company controlled the affairs of the administration of Bengal. The English East India Company had two branches of administration under them. The deputy Diwan collected revenue or tax on behalf of the company while the deputy Nawab handled the administration of Bengal on behalf of the Nawab. By promoting the dual system of government, the English East India Company became the absolute rulers in Bengal. Now let us look into the effects of the dual system of government. The result of the dual system of government was terrible in Bengal. The welfare of the farmers was neglected both by the company and the Nawab. The Nawab of Bengal became so powerless that he did not have the means to protect the common people of Bengal from the greed of the English East India Company's officials. These officials were constantly exploiting the riches and wealth of Bengal. A famine broke out in Bengal in the year 1770. A third of the population of Bengal died in this famine and this situation further damaged the economy of Bengal. Widespread corruption prevailed in the administrative matters of Bengal. The province got drained of its wealth. In the year 1772, the English East India Company appointed Warren Hastings as the governor of Bengal. The following year, through the Regulating Act, the company made him the Governor General of the British Territories in India. Warren Hastings got rid of the dual system of government in Bengal. He brought Bengal under the direct administration of the company. He introduced many reforms in Bengal. The Nawab of Bengal was removed from authority completely. The company just gave him a pension. Warren Hastings was the man who laid the foundation of an organized method of administration in Bengal. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for being with me. Check out my videos on the doctrine of lapse, the subsidiary alliance, 
the battle of plassey and the battle of buxar i have made a playlist so please visit it click on the description below to get access to the notes on today's lesson and give this video a like it really supports my channel consider subscribing and i'll meet you very soon bye